Disney has the springtime surprise, I've got the autumn surprise. Cue the music. You know that I'm the queen of overthinking. It's like we're done before we even started. So if this is the end now, baby, know that I gave him my all. I believe in us. I won't give up on you. I will be home. So that introductory music means only one thing. I am training for the Dopey Challenge. How did this happen, did you say? I am jumping into the plan at week 15. How? I tried many times to register for this race and by the time I got to make a payment, it was all sold out. And I'm going to try to explain how I have gotten to where I am right now without crying. I'm going to try really hard. And if I have to take an extended walk break, I will. So yesterday, Monday, I received an Instagram message from one of my followers. Her name is Jenny. And she was running the Dopey Challenge for a charity called Kelsey's Hope. She raised all of the money she needed to and then we're gonna ignore that. And then she fractured her foot in two places. Ooh, I made mile one. The doctor said no go. Uh, would not be good for her to run the dopey challenge and to continue to train. And she thought of, she thought of me and how she's watched my move or my videos and was inspired to register for this race. Because of that, she offered her bib to me. She's already made her fundraising goal. I don't have to do any of that. I, I just have to say, I don't have millions of followers, but the ones that I do have are quality over quantity. She, I can't believe I'm overwhelmed that she did this for me. So of course I said yes. Then my head started reeling. I, I was numb and I thought I have three months for hotel, airfare, training. So I immediately jumped on and I was able, I don't know how, I got a value resort for a spectacular rate. I don't know how I did that. I also had love points from Southwest. Uh, about a year ago, there was some delays and I ended up staying in Atlanta overnight. And to make up for that, Southwest gave me love credits or points or whatever. I cashed all of those in plus my points. Pretty much I can say Southwest is paying to send me to Florida. It is less than $200 to go from Spokane to Florida and back. And the hotel, I, I forgot to mention, the hotel that I got, I'm staying at the All-Star Sports. That's the one I needed because I haven't done a room review of that one. I was going to stay in that one sometime within the next racing season. So it was almost as if it was meant to be. Meant to be. Yes, this was meant to be. There is, there are no words that I can express to say how grateful I am for Jenny to think of me. I hope she has a smooth and speedy recovery and that she will be able to finish a dopey race in the coming years. And I'm very honored to run for 
Kelsey's Hope. I've been reading up on that charity and it is, it's just a lovely charity and I'm honored to run in their name. But now look at us, week 15. I have two 45 minute runs and luckily only a three miler at the end of the week. However, next week, not so easy. Not sure if you can see that. I have just passed the 30 minute mark. That is kind of a milestone for me right now because that's all I've been doing in my training for my half marathons that I've had this summer. And that's what I was gonna do for my training for Princess. It was also me laughing at all of you who had to do 45 minutes. Look who's laughing now. Hi team. Three miles. Da -da -da -da. Just hit the four mile mark. I think I'm gonna need to invest in some new shoes. My left knee is kind of twinging, giving some little spikes of pain. So I think these are going to become walking shoes. I do have another pair of Hoka's that I was going to use for the beginning of princess training. I have to break those out maybe for my next run and order several more before Dopey. You've reached your goal of 45 minutes. Distance 4.26. I'll take it. That completes my very first run of my Dopey training. Probably the easiest week I'm going to have in the coming months. I have less than 100 days. I think I have like 93 days until Dopey. I'm a little worried, but I'm more worried about the costumes. I have no clue. What did I wear in the 90s? I believe I'm still wearing those same things. <laughs> Stay tuned. Do you remember a video I made not so long ago? Right. Dopey dumped me. Just you wait, Dopey. You're gonna take me back someday. I just know it. And that day is today. I just hit the halfway point. Average pace, 9.55 per mile. Ugh. I better turn around, huh? Because it is the halfway point. While we are having, I don't know, is it called an Indian summer when it is extended into the fall? I don't know, or is that spring? Regardless, we are having exceptional weather for, what is today, October 10th? No, it's not. It's October 6th. And it is literally 83 degrees. So while the weather stays nice, it sounds like it's gonna be nice for maybe another week. And we haven't hit daylight savings time yet. Or have we? Did we already do that? Oh my gosh, I don't know. No, we have not. That's first of November. So while we still have light after work, I'm going to go out and do my training runs immediately after work. I don't care how dead dog tired I am. I'm going to do them. I would rather be outside than on the treadmill. So I did 4.28. I think that's pretty close to what I did yesterday, or maybe it was 4.38 yesterday. No, I think it was in the twos. Regardless, run number two of week 15, episode one, complete. Are you ready for our three miler? Yep, okay. Someone's excited. 
excited for our three miler today. Who is that that's excited? Okay. Baxter, someone cannot stand themselves. This will be Baxter and I's first train run for Dopey together. I don't think he is excited one single bit. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this dog is going to wear me out. Thank goodness it's only a three miler. I love this time of year with all of the Halloween decorations out. That's kind of spooky. I like it. <laughs> we are about a little over a half a mile into our three mile run with little Baxter. I am trying to wear him out. I think I'm going to switch hands here. There we go. Because he doesn't know this, but today Big Brother Blitz is finally moving out and going to live with my son. He had an apartment where it was too difficult to have a dog, so I was fostering him until he found a place where Blitz and him could live together, which is going to be hard, I think, on this little guy who has come to love Big Brother Blitz. But it'll be okay, he'll be fine. I think it'll be an easy transition. I'm gonna, now that we have the training plan, I'm gonna take Baxter out for more of our runs to wear him out and give him that exercise that Huskies so dearly need. Oops, I think he wants to make a friend, but come on, buddy. Come on, come on, buddy. Oh, oh my gosh, you are so strong, bud. Let's go. Let's get going on this run, buddy. Oh, oh gosh, my hand turned himself around. All right. Oh, Baxter. Who's wearing who out here? Hey, Baxter, hold on. We made our two mile mark. You can see that. Average pace 10, 20 per mile. Mile two, we are a little slow because Baxter and I are trying to acclimate to running again. <laughs> he pretty much was locked up in the house. Not really, we have a big backyard, but it was too hot to take him out on any training runs, so I did not. So we're having a little, we're, we're adjusting again. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but Baxter turned two years old. Oh my gosh, this weekend. And I just cannot believe I've had this little guy for two years. It's been the best two years of my entire life. I'm so excited. It also got very warm while I was running, so I had to take off my jacket. And I'm wearing my wickedly delicious wine and dine shirt in order to wish all of you going to wine and dine in just a couple of weeks. Good luck in your running on those races and challenges. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Come on. One mile to go, Baxter. One mile to go. We got this. We're killing it, buddy. We're killing it. Almost there, buddy. Almost there. I think we're... Oh, there we go. There it is. Time, 31 minutes. I'm okay with that time for Baxter and I's first training run of the Dopey Challenge. And this wraps up... It actually wraps up week 15, but this is actually week one for me. So I'm calling that episode one. I know I said this earlier in the video, but I truly thank Jenny for gifting her charity bib to me so that I can participate in the Dopey Challenge. And if you want to follow along with me on my short but very long miles journey to Dopey, hit that subscribe button and uh, follow along with me. Next week, not such an easy week. And I'm also going to talk about what I did this summer and how I lost 27 pounds. So stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, I think we're going to go in and get some water and rehydrate and get ready to go inside, buddy. Let's go.